feeling is the big thing. If we can influence how we feel, it's going to also affect how we think. How have you been able to maintain positive mindsets? Do you have any tactics, tools, tricks that you've used to just maintain that center of performance? We have to remember humans aren't emotional. We are emotional humans. It is just part of our DNA. We're emotional. We have two parts of that brain and part of it's emotion-based and it's logic-based, but that emotional part has a tendency to override everything. And it often influences a lot of our decisions and our actions, our choices, our perspective. So if we recognize that we are feeling people, feeling is the big thing. If we can influence how we feel, it's going to also affect how we think. One of the simplest ways to start to positively influence how we physically feel is by being active with our body, moving our body with specific purpose, that intentionality to create a positive response. And I'm not saying go to the gym and pump iron, okay? <laughs> if you look at like the blue zones, right? These five populations around the world where they have the highest density of people living to be a hundred years or older. These are people just waiting around. They're not just sitting there like, there's clues out there, people. There's people living and thriving well into their hundreds. And when you look at the studies of the blue zones, they looked at these five population densities and they said, sheesh, there's nine commonalities that all five of these areas share. One of which was just, they move their bodies. Some of them garden, some of them dance, some of them walk to the store and back. They are just physically moving every day. They also have a very specific and strong sense of purpose, a reason to get up every morning. So you look at all these factors that we can learn from this. We can emulate some of this, implement some of this, if you will. And that movement piece is so critical because it's so accessible. Walk out your door <laughs> and walk for 30 minutes. Maybe walk at a more brisk pace to elicit more of a positive response because it gets the heart rate elevated. Either way, you push the body a little bit. You won't regret doing that. So there's certain things that we know when we do it, we never regret. And so it's looking for more opportunities to do the things that naturally make us feel good. You encourage these positive endorphins to start to just move through your body. You start to feel better. You start to look at things a little bit differently. You start to interact with the things around you differently. You start to manage stress differently. You're going to find, wow, I'm feeling really good right now. So when you start to feel and look differently, you're going to start to make better decisions. And it all starts. One good decision does lead into another good decision into another good decision.